if you wanted to fix something to this piece of metal, you've got two options really, if you want to use bolts. You can either drill a larger clearance hole uh, and put that through and then use a nut on the other side, or you can tap the hole. Now tapping an hole is, is quite a good idea because you've got a permanent thread in there then. So if you ever want to remove that and take it away and put it back in again, the thread's always going to be there. Whereas if you put a nut on the back and you undo it, you could lose it. And sometimes it isn't always possible to get behind to put a nut on. So that's where taps come in handy. And normally they come in sets of three like this. And these particular ones are M8 for cutting an M8 thread. And if you look at that one, it's got a, a long taper on that one. And then that one's not quite as long. And that one virtually has no taper at all on the end. It's just threaded all the way. So the reason why they come in threes is because you'd use that one first to get started because it's got a nice taper on it. So you can push it in the hole and then you'd use that one and then eventually you'd use that one. But if you're going straight through material like this it doesn't really matter you just use the first one because that's got a good taper on and you can go all the way through there so you're guaranteed to get a good thread all the way through. So here I've drilled an 8.5mm hole and there I've got an M10 tap and this is just a cheap tap out of a, a set that has about 20 taps in it, some dies and a load of drill bits so I'm not expecting it to be brilliant quality but hopefully it will work uh, you can get a couple of different types of tap wrenches this is a, a common type and the T-bar type is also popular and they both have squares at the end there to grip so if you just open it up and put the square in and then tighten it and now that's gripped it so now you can start tapping a hole with that it's important that you get the correct size hole and in order to do that you'd normally consult what's called a Zeus guide and in the Zeus guide it'll tell you what size hole you need to drill for what size thread you want. So if you want, a, for example, an M10 like this, it'll tell you that you need an 8.5 millimeter roll, which is what you've got to drill. So we've got that fastened now in the tap wrench. So we're just gonna put a bit of uh, tapping fluid on there. You can use normal oil if you want for doing this, but it just makes it go through a little bit easier. So you need to position the tap in the hole and then you need to start turning it in a clockwise direction trying to keep it straight and then when it started to bite if you just undo it and take the tap handle off you can then check using a square to make sure that your tap is straight because what you don't want is a, an hole that's not straight because it is possible to tap an hole and actually have the threads on a slight angle which you don't want so once you've confirmed that it's straight you can then put the tap wrench back on and then continue turning it and then when you've done a couple of revolutions you need to turn it back a bit to break the chip off and then you can continue. So every time we're doing a couple of evolutions, we're turning it back half a turn just to break the chip off. And then we'll just spray a bit more tapping fluid on there.
and actually I've just noticed that the actual tap wrench is cracked already and I do have the thing me about buying cheap tools, I never buy cheap tools and that's one of the reasons why the waste of time so we'll just persevere and see if we can get this all tapped in this steel using this cheap tap wrench and tap And now we seem to have gone through to the other side. So we're just going to take it all the way down just to guarantee that it puts a good thread in there. Once you get through to the other side of the material, there's no need to turn it back again like that. Just keep going. And then you can just unscrew it. So you can see that there's a thread being cut in the steel now. And there you go, we can now screw a cap head balls in there. 